Well, not too bad this morning, no pain at all, just a little bit where the injection went in. So yeah, that's a bit sore. If I'd had this done in the UK, it would have cost me considerably more, that's for sure. Feels a bit weird talking though, because now I've only got four teeth at the front and uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. But um, that's the way it goes, I suppose. Somebody also asked me about my motorbike, how's it coming along? Uh, it's fine, I can't use it, but uh, it's, it's okay. Um, still waiting on the uh, the parts. So, uh, just need to get a new uh, reservoir, rad reservoir, and uh, new shock seals. Because they're all shot. I lose track of time really easy. I can't even remember when I took the bike in for them to have a look. It was last week sometime but I can't remember it the day. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting at least another sort of week, if not two, before the parts arrive and then I'll take it down. It'll only take a couple of hours to, uh, to fix it and that'll be it, I'll be back on the road again. Happy days. As you can see, the weather this morning is uh, lousy, quite frankly. Yeah, it's not nice at all. It's just finished raining and Pi, she's gone off to the mountain. She don't care. Rain, sunshine, don't bother her at all. Mushrooms, that's the only thing that's on her mind. She just wants to get some. So, uh, yeah, she loves it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody, you know, get so enthusiastic about foraging the way she does, but she does really love it. Somebody asked me the other day, does Pi ever wear any makeup? Um, yeah, but it's really on a rare occasion. I, actually, I can't remember the last time she wore makeup, but she does have a pretty good complexion. Her skin is very, very soft, and there's a very good reason for it. I'll show you. What Pi's doing is using uh, natural aloe vera. Now, Pi always has a supply of aloe vera. She grows several plants all the time, and whenever she needs to use it, she just cuts one off. Aloe vera, as you guys know, is great for healing as well. So uh, yeah, it's got a lot of properties and Pi uses it all the time for all sorts of things. But what she does do is use it on her face, I'll show you. If you want uh, aloe vera work or to good for, for you when you put in your skin, have to grow about one year more, I one year, have to grow about one year. And I. When you put in the face or when you go out, you know, when I have sun, a lot of sun, when you go out, your skin burn. Or when you put a low vela, oh, feel good. So cool, feel, feel cool. But this one, I'm gonna do only cut like this, take out. You can see the gel, yeah. Normally, I do in the face. When you going out, I go out, or you see a lot. Uh, when you face I, a lot in the sun, you gonna have a black sun black in the face. Sunburn, yeah. Yeah, this one can help. Or when you go out, I when I you not put normally I go normally I go out I not put the sun cream or cream or powder. Nothing, but when someday really hot, when I come home, I gonna put this one. It's good. Yeah. Put around in the face. And another one, I know, will I can help you like a hair, around hair, around hair in the head, hair in here, or hair in here. Before in the Phuket, uh, I do a lot. I do every day. But I look look my hair eye before in the dark. I, I not really have really so slim. Cannot really see yeah. Now they get little bit big and black mm. and in here same and around. So sometimes I put around here, in around here, out little bit. But it, not about do only one time two time you gonna have no. <laughs> you gonna cut. Slim, cut slim like this. Yeah. Take out this one. You have to see the gel. The gel in the face. What, whatever you want to put, how long, or you can put all day. This one, I not 
hurt you your skin sometimes if I have time I not go anywhere I got this one I can put in here like this stay in the house just sleep that's it well there you go folks that's uh, Pi's beauty tip for you aloe vera is really very very good I've used it on no end of uh, occasions for sunburn and it really does do the job it really cools it down so yeah if you do get sunburnt and you've got some aloe vera handy then use it you don't necessarily have to uh, grow a plant you can buy it uh, at most sort of uh, pharmacies now and supermarkets but of course you know you're never really going to beat um, just a natural product so uh, yeah pie doesn't bother buying it she just grows them and they grow like weeds they're very very easy to grow Somebody asked me an interesting question regarding the corn that uh, Pi's dad grows. Is it GMO? No, it's not. Um, according to Pi's dad, it's just uh, regular corn seed and they plant it and that's it. A couple of people have asked me how I create certain effects. For instance, the ghost effect where Pi and I literally appeared into the scene out of nowhere. It's actually really, really easy. All you've got to do is make sure there's nothing in that scene regarding other moving objects. So basically capture a piece of scene and then just walk into it. Now once you've got your footage, it's just a case of cutting it up to the uh, bits that you want, stitching them together and then using a uh, dissolved transition. It works really, really well. And again, it just appears like you're coming out of nowhere. You're fading into the shot, if you like. So that's easy enough. Uh, the other one was slow motion. Now for the best results on slow motion, really you need to be filming in say 60 frames a second or better yet 120 frames a second. I do know that the GoPro Hero 5 Black that I use, once I go up to 120 frames per second, it automatically wants to uh, film in wide view. It's not a bad effect, but it really depends on what you want. Obviously there's lots you can do when you're editing and really when it comes to vlogging, um, it's the editing that allows you to be really really creative well we got some tech arrived so uh, i know what it is and the official box opener is on hand he's not at school today because it's queen's birthday so they've got a couple of days off school but uh yeah all he wants to do right now is open these boxes Now you can see what it is just here. It's the bottom part. This is a timer. And there you go, guys. This sits on a tripod. And basically, uh, if I'm doing a time lapse, for instance, I can set it to the amount of degrees it will turn and time duration it will turn. So you get a pan shot of a time lapse. Fantastic, isn't it? I really wanted this to come and uh, it should really really do the job can't wait to try it out but that'll be for tomorrow hopefully we've got some uh, good weather now he's going to open up the second one now this one if i remember rightly is the handle to the uh, tripod it didn't actually come with a handle so i bought one and it will allow for smoother pan shots basically Again, as a vlogger, for every tiny bit of kit you buy, it does help improve your vlog. So yeah, this is uh, really very cool. Oh, now this is, looks way better than I thought it would. Now I just thought this was a handle, but it's not. You've got the whole unit on it as well. That's unbelievable. And there's the handle itself. Yeah. Well, I've just attached the, um, the tripod plate to the uh, device this is the turn handle so that should now fit on there we've got the handle here fits all the way through into there which is fabulous now you can turn your camera all I've got to do now is make sure that I can put the camera now obviously I'm filming with the GoPro so I can't uh, I can't put the GoPro on it I should be able to just screw that onto there which I can and it now means that I can actually do nice pan shots nice and smooth and that this one allows it to uh, to tilt as well so you can get shots up and down from side to side 
Well, there you go, guys. That's a new tripod attachment with the uh, handle and swivel. And it does actually tilt from side to side as well. So it will go up and down and just adjust the camera around. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, new attachment. And uh, I've got all the instruction manual there as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a really handy little piece of kit. The next thing to find out is if I can attach my timer. Now, this is one of the things that I was really, really looking forward to. Well, that certainly fits in there okay. Can bubble it up so it's nice and level. Take the camera, obviously, and put that on there. And obviously the camera goes in this little housing. You can set this from 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes. And it will then rotate it to the, whatever degrees you set it at. I think it's a really cool piece of kit. Really looking forward to using that. So here you go, more new tech for the vlog. Brilliant stuff. A few people have asked me about uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, why haven't I mentioned it? <laughs> I kept meaning to mention it, but I kept forgetting. <laughs> That's old age. I must admit though, it's good, isn't it? Now we're gonna find out if uh, Jamie has drowned. You've gotta give it to Cersei Lannister though. Oh, she devious witch she is. I've never seen anybody so devious in all my life. Highly entertaining. Looking forward to Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pi, she really likes it as well. It's one of those things she's really got into. Anyway, that's about all for today, guys. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Don't forget, please subscribe, share and like. It does make a huge difference. And Pi and I, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Let's hope the weather's better tomorrow. Look at it. It just won't stop raining. Horrible, isn't it?